Hi, welcome back to my mom life. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Jordan and today we are making hot cocoa cookies. Here are all of the ingredients that we need to make these hot cocoa cookies. In this bowl, I have baking soda, baking powder, and salt. And I have my flour here, just regular all-purpose flour. I have two sticks of butter, one cup of sugar, and two-thirds cup of brown sugar. I have a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and half a cup of white chocolate chips. We're going to need two eggs, some vanilla extract, and some hot cocoa, of course. This is just the canister, but if you're using the packs, you're gonna want four, or four packs, um, or we can measure it out of here. And then we are gonna need these marshmallows. So these are the little tiny marshmallows that you can put on hot chocolate. You can find these next to the regular marshmallows. We're gonna need a cup of these. So let's get started. Let's throw all of these ingredients together and make some hot cocoa cookies. To get started, we are gonna to cream together our butter and sugars. So I'm gonna add my butter to my mixer bowl. And then I'm gonna just dump in my one cup of white sugar and two thirds cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna take this over to my stand mixer and get this going until it is nice and creamy. Okay, I have that all nice and combined, so I'm gonna go ahead and add in our two eggs and the vanilla extract. And then we are gonna let this mix, and then once it is combined, we will add in our flour and our hot cocoa mix and the baking soda, baking powder, and salt. Okay, it is time to add in the flour and hot chocolate mix and baking soda, baking powder, and salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in the salt and the baking soda and baking powder. We're going to need three and a quarter cups of flour, so I'll add that in. And then I measured out two thirds of a cup of hot cocoa mix. So now I'm going to add that in and we are going to mix this just until it's combined. And then we're gonna stir in the yummy goodness, the chocolate chips and the marshmallow bits. So let's get this going and then we'll get the good stuff. Okay, that is all combined. So now I'm gonna turn my mixer back on and we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. I have semi-sweet and white chocolate and then we're gonna add in one cup of these little mini, mini, mini marshmallows that look like this. is our cookie dough. We have it all mixed together. This dough does need to chill in the refrigerator though before we bake it. So I'm gonna pop some plastic wrap on and let this chill for at least 30 minutes before we bake these cookies up. So I will see you back here once our dough is nice and cold. Once my dough is chilled, I got some more of my chocolate chips and mini marshmallows out. I am going to add those to each cookie dough ball before they go into the oven. And I got my cookie scoop and I'm just gonna scoop out our cookies. These do spread quite a bit, so go ahead and give them enough room so that they don't um, completely melt into each other. You wanna give your cookies enough room to bake and spread out. So I did that and then I topped them with some more of those chocolate chips and marshmallows. It just adds to the look of the cookie at the end, also the taste but really I did it for the look of the cookie because all of that stuff is mixed in. You don't really see it um, until you bite into the cookie. So I wanted to have it on top just so that they looked cute and you could tell that they were hot cocoa cookies with the little marshmallows and chocolate chips. So I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees and these are gonna bake for 10 to 12 minutes until they start to get golden around the edges. 
and then I pulled them out of the oven, let them cool for about five minutes before I transferred them onto some, to a separate piece of parchment paper to cool off completely. And these turned out so yummy. My kids and husband absolutely love them and they said they tasted just like hot chocolate. So I hope you try this recipe. I will have it in the description box for you if you're interested. Here are our cookies right out of the oven. As you can see, those chocolate chips and marshmallows just kind of help the cookie pop and stand out. These are so yummy. Like I said, definitely give this recipe a try. These are a good cookie to dip in milk, so serve them with a glass of milk, and I guarantee you, your guests or your family are gonna love these or yourself. <laughs> If you try this recipe, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you subscribe and stick around and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.